Today, we delve into a topic that concerns our daily eating habits, acrylamide. Acrylamide, a chemical compound, forms in starchy foods cooked at high temperatures. As these foods undergo prolonged cooking, acrylamide builds up, and it's a recognized carcinogen. This means it's known to elevate cancer risk. How does this happen? When foods like french fries or bread turn brown from baking or frying, it's due to a reaction between specific amino acids and carbohydrates. This reaction, known as the Maillard reaction, signifies acrylamide's presence. Let's look at the numbers. A 2007 meta-analysis by NI highlighted that acrylamide intake raises the risk of endometrial cancer in non-smoking women by about 15%. It also increases kidney cancer risk by nearly 12%. However, the link between acrylamide and breast cancer remains tenuous. The International Agency for Research on Cancer IARC, slots acrylamide under the group 2A carcinogens, meaning it's probably carcinogenic to humans. To put it into perspective, other items in this bracket are red meat and very hot beverages associated with esophageal cancer. But how much is too much? The European Food Safety Authority EFSA, has provided guidance. For a 70 kg individual, the tolerable daily intake averages at 28 micrograms. To illustrate, a serving of French fries contains about 50 micrograms, while 100 grams of bread holds approximately 30 micrograms. Cooking time and temperature are crucial. Acrylamide starts forming around 120 degrees Celsius 248 degrees Fahrenheit, with its formation rate spiking as the temperature climbs. The longer and hotter you cook, the more acrylamide you might produce. Here are some tips to reduce acrylamide exposure. Choose whole grains, they can lessen acrylamide absorption. Pre-soak grains, a simple soak can cut acrylamide formation by half. Mind your cereal, opt for lighter colored cereals roasted at lower temperatures. Boil, don't fry, this limits acrylamide production. Boost your cereal, add fruits or nuts to enhance nutritional value. Watch the temperature, acrylamide's formation intensifies with rising temperatures. Remember, acrylamide isn't the only frying-related health concern. Frying can also produce carcinogens like heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and harmful aldehydes. In conclusion, being aware and making informed food choices is paramount. While indulging occasionally is part of life, understanding the risks and adjusting our habits can lead to healthier outcomes. Thank you.